Hello, hello. It's Let's Talk Tuesday, so let's talk about Frida Kahlo. A long time ago, someone on Tumblr shared with me a post titled, Why Tumblr Should Fall in Love with Frida Kahlo. And I was like, I do love me some Frida Kahlo, so let me check out this post. And it had some nice stuff about her. She was a feminist. She loved herself. She was a badass. By age 15, she had learned to read three languages. English, French, and Spanish. She loved Walt Whitman and Da Vinci. She loved to argue. She hated boredom. She was pretty spontaneous. One time, for fun, she brought a donkey into the classroom. She didn't believe in gender norms and often dressed as a boy. She was not afraid to be unladylike and learned how to box and swim and wrestle. She had many lovers, both men and women and did not believe in slut-shaming. She loved animals, and she even had a pet monkey. And that's about it for that post. But when I saw that post, I was like, you're gonna completely take out of the picture that she was a disabled woman? And someone who experienced severe chronic pain for the majority of her life? That was a pretty big thing. So Frida Kahlo, on top of being a feminist, very political, an artist, a Latina, a bisexual, was also disabled. Her disabilities actually started in childhood when she had polio. Frida Kahlo dealt with many illnesses throughout her life, but when she was sick she had polio, and the result of that was that her right leg was a lot thinner than her left leg. To hide this, she usually wore these really big fluffy skirts. When she was 18, she was in a really horrifying, traumatic bus accident. She broke her spinal column, she broke her collarbone, her pelvic, her ribs, 11 fractures to her right leg, and a dislocated shoulder. One of the major wounds she got from that accident was a pole stabbed her right through, I believe, the ovary, which ruined her reproductive system for the rest of her life. Uh, she would go on to have miscarriages and she was unable to have children. The fact that she dealt with illness and a great intense physical trauma where they thought she would never walk again. She dealt with severe chronic pain for the rest of her life. Was in and out of doctor's offices, surgeries, trying to see if anything would help but she dealt with pain all the time. That was a huge reason why she was in bed most of the time and why her family created a canvas for her so that she could paint while she was lying down. Her time in isolation and bed rest was a big part of why most of her portraits were self-portraits. Being alone so much, she was the subject that she knew best. Even if she was walking, she was still disabled. Like I said, one leg was a lot smaller than the other to begin with, so walking was painful for her even if she could do it. When she really needed it, she would use a cane to get around. Later on in life, she caught gangrene and needed to have her leg amputated. So she then had a prosthetic leg. Then also became a wheelchair user. I believe it was a couple of years after her amputation that she died. Her disability and her pain, however, did influence a lot of her art. A lot of her art is very dark. A lot of her art is very autobiographical. And in that way, very vulnerable, very admirable. For me personally, her art is really great. But what makes her art even more impactful is knowing who she was and knowing her story. So she was all those things. She was a Mexican woman. A bisexual woman. Possibly polyamorous woman? Maybe? Her and her husband did have extramarital affairs. Both of them did. And she was smart and political and ferocious and strong. She was also disabled. She's not just some quirky looking lady with a unibrow. She's also one of the most amazing, historical, queer, woman of color, 
disabled representation that we have. <laughs> and I think that's so important. I happen to think her story is pretty incredible and have definitely found some validation, some solidarity, some inspiration from her life story and from her art. And I really hope that if you are interested in her, that you take a look at it and you learn some more about her because she's a very interesting woman with a very interesting life. And yeah. <laughs> So I'm curious to know what historical figures or celebrities or even characters you identify with. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you eventually. Or tomorrow. Probably. <laughs> Bye.